This episode of Sexplanations is brought to you by adamandeve.com. The following guided masturbation does not include sex toys, but you're encouraged to play with them and learn how they can benefit your experience. I've been listening to guided meditations lately, apps on my phone where a soft voice, anonymous person encourages me to breathe and quiet my thoughts. I really try to focus on what's being said and most of the time I can find my center and express serenity. Other times though, I can't stop thinking that I wish something similar existed for masturbation, a Dr. Doe version. Some well-trained, thoughtful guru coaching me through the self-stimulation process on an easily accessible app with daily goals and gentle notifications to meet them. So I've recruited some help from Masters in Masturbation and have organized for you a guided session. <clears throat> Sit or lie comfortably where you feel secure. Loosen any restrictions of your clothing or remove them completely to embrace your natural body. If you feel awkward or unsure, look for your curiosity. What would you like to feel instead? What do you need? I'm here to help you learn to trust the sensations of your sexuality expressing itself, of you expressing you. Breathe in through your nose and feel the resistance you may have to opening your mouth as you exhale. Your mouth is an erogenous zone. Let it open and inhale, drawing erotic energy from your surroundings into your throat and lungs. Then exhale through your mouth slowly, slow enough to feel the temperature of your breath on your lips. Moisten your lips with your tongue. Note how they taste and how they feel. Again, breathe in and moan delicately as you exhale warm breath across cool lips. Let your breathing get heavier and sexier. Caress your face, massage your scalp and neck, your skull and spine that carry you through this world and deserve to be pleasured. Continue with your hands to rub your shoulders and your upper arms, reflecting on how your body feels to your fingers and how your fingers feel to your body. Clench your sex, then relax with a good moan. Notice the quickening of your heartbeat, the flush of heat in your chest, the prominence of your nipples. Scan with your hands your stomach, hips where they join the thighs, down with your fingertips to your calves, varying the pressure and breathing audibly. Appreciate your ankles and tops of your feet. Know that your sexual energy travels along nerves throughout your whole body. Wake them up with your touch and build a craving in your sex, your loins, your groin. Touching yourself is caring and healthy. You are so important. For a moment, freestyle exploration of your being. If you can wait to soothe your sex, try. Commit to the belief that your pleasure is also in your back, your buttocks, your elbows and ears. Moan that breath out. Now it is time to trace your sex with your middle finger and thumb. Experiment with the sensations of the back of your nails, the pads of your hands, longer strokes with the back of your hand. Slow, slow, you will get there. Steady your breath and your strokes. Let everything become aroused on its own. Learn about your unique and beautiful eroticism. If you can use both hands, allow one to wander and the other to settle into a smooth, lubricated rhythm on your sex. Breathe in the smells, moan. Arch your back, pressing into your hand, moan. Enjoy yourself. Lick and gently bite your lip. Speed up your strokes. Gather your breath and push a symphony of pleasure and pain out. Wow, how does your body feel? There are many techniques to improve your practice of masturbation. This session was an introduction to incorporating the whole body, slowing down movements, and detaching from specific outcomes. Whether or not you had an orgasm, you were able to experience your sexuality. Each time will be a new and wonderful experience. Stay curious. While I didn't include toys in this guided masturbation, there are many benefits to incorporating them. Personal lubricant can reduce friction, dildos and butt plugs can create the sensation of fullness, nipple clamps can refocus your attention on your body, and vibrators? I don't usually recommend for beginners to masturbation because I think that manual stimulation is easier to mimic in partner play than battery-operated machines. But vibrators are awesome for people who feel orgasmically stuck or have disabilities that make rubbing hard. It's like an aid or a tool to achieve orgasm so you know it's possible. Knowing that you can orgasm with a vibrator can be really validating and enable going back to manual stimulation with more optimism. This vibrator is available at adamandeve.com for 50% off when you use the code DOE, my last name at checkout. You can get any eligible item, lube, plugs, condom clamps for 50% off using the code and free shipping in the US and Canada. 